I'm gonna go my life in the shower. We in this boy. Oh! 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 Yeah, I thought you had that man up here, man. <laughs> Knocking on people's door. <laughs> Straight up. Hey, hey, Mo back from the old days when he throw, when he throw his coat over a puddle so a bitch can walk across. <laughs> <laughs> He gonna tell, he's gonna be a gentleman. He is not gonna tell. He is not gonna kiss and tell. That's all he did was just kiss. <laughs> Channel two, brother. Oh, man. Get everybody bring to the table, you know what I'm saying? On this grind house platform. Yeah, dog. Like a county meal. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it is that. That's exactly what it is. Yes, yeah, sir. My show, bro. What I was pointing out is that we need to stop depending on the government. We become so dependent on the government, and Over we need to create our own jobs. No question. Is what we need to do, man. To stop depending on the government and get rid of them, cut them out. Can y'all see me, all right? Yes, yeah. I don't get no government assistance, not a none. Right. And Food stamps, do. help insurance, none. Oh, get it. And so, hey, you was, hey, you was born on food stamps, bro. <laughs> I ain't got none. <laughs> okay then, that's because you ain't got none now that you didn't made. Fuck everybody else up. Huh? 
No, I want my give him a charger. No, nope, they gotta hey, plug it in. You see that? You see that selfie? It's already hooked up. Already. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Say that again. <laughs> you selfish, brother. Wait, wait! Say that how I'm selfish. I didn't miss something. Get down on us. That we that still get assist. <laughs> Shit, if you want to sell them motherfuckers, let me know. We can meet up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sell you the box when they get here. <laughs> no, I don't want nothing to do with that stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'll sell you the bitch. I know that is nothing but swine. Everything <laughs> in there is swine. The biscuit got swine. The cheese was made out of swine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Man, but, um, is that we need to create our own jobs. We need to stop going to Orland Park, Tinley Park, spending all our dollars. We gave Black Panther two billion, well, billion dollars already. Yeah, that's crazy. We create our own jobs and create and and not need that government assistance. Yeah, sir. Oh, right. And we didn't got totally dependent on the system, and they gonna poison that, and we dying of heart disease, <laughs> cancer, diabetes, man. We. We we done, man. We yeah, man. They um, long as they don't they don't poison the cognac, I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Bro, they probably already did. Yeah, they probably uh -huh. already did. I was just telling Nino that the same thing. You see, they had that outbreak, uh, um, HIV and syphilis. Yeah, in Milwaukee. Right. And, and I was telling the brother, I said, man, you know, it probably put it in a yak. It's probably in no. A it's probably no, that's, that's, uh, that's Milwaukee, Mo. Ain't that much yak drinkers out there. Yak, they, 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 they jack yak cook up out there. The price is a little bit higher than it is than it is for us. So yak don't get bought that much. Them some motherfucking gin and, and vodka drinkers out there. Yeah, but and half them, and half them bitches is on vibe trying to sell puss in your way. So no telling where that shit came from. It probably came from Michigan. Yeah, but it just made me think of the Tuskegee project type of situation. Oh yeah, made, just don't be taking no shots, Mo. Yeah, Stay the fuck it, away from them shots. And it also and, and made, they, um, of, um, Flint. Did y'all check that um that Netflix documentary they got out called Flint Town? No, no. I, I seen it. You seen it? No, I ain't see it yet. I need to go check that out. I, I yeah, ain't watching it. I'm it watching that uh that shit at the I Am Innocent. Now that shit is funny. It's a tragedy, but it's funny. Yeah. Mm. But that Flint, um, that Flint Town, it, it kind of start. Um, like in um, 15, when the water crisis first kicked off, and they was kind of showing you how the town was so fucked up, and that the um, even the police, it was 100,000 residents, and it was only 100 police on the street, you know, in the force. And so, shit, if you was calling the uh, police for a robbery, they wouldn't come there to the next day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just alone with all the rest of their problems, man. It's a real fucked up some shit to watch. You wouldn't think you wouldn't think that you live that close to some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Damn. You think you live that hey. close to some shit like that? Hey, 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 hey. Dayton family one line. Yeah, Dayton family going, one line. Motherfucker <laughs> going through a thing. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Top authority. I had to pop them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the real Flint Town members, they wasn't lying. And even in that documentary, they said, man, we've been going through this for like 30 years. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Just being a, a, a real fucked up town. And then with the water shit, man, that just man, it was it's a rough documentary, man. It's sad. It's sad. You know, and then that whole thing with the Elgin thing that I wanted to talk about, but I wanted to do it right, is that you seen a female got killed on in Elgin, right? The one you did the story on. Yeah, they ran in her she was inside of her car, full flat tires. And they jumped inside her car. They made up a excuse to jump in her car and just blasted her like four right. times. Right. And so, like, two months before this, in Rockford, a black brother got killed by the police, too. Right? Mm -hmm. at about the same time at night, 1230, around the same time. And they saying in this Rockford store, you can look this one up. Now, this brother was in the car. He get pulled over. The, him and the police get in some type of altercation. The police shoot him, and supposedly he run over the police. So two people dead, and nobody, no witnesses around. 
Dang. But this is, this is the kicker that I really want to speak on because now the Elgin thing just happened and that Rockford thing happened two months ago, right? Around the same time, in a car, some real crazy-ass accusation. But the chief of police that's in Rockford now, he used to be the police, the chief of police in Elgin a mm. year ago. Right, right. So now he's the, the 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 old chief of police in Elgin is the new chief of police in Rockford, and both of these having these suspicions. I'm like, damn, what are they training these officers to do? You know what I'm saying, bro? I what did. Is, a what type of funny shit is they on with somewhere thirty minutes apart, kind of under the same type of funny dark twelve thirty in a car? Some weird shit going on out here, bro. bro I've been in. About a Baltimore chief, he was telling his subordinates, he was telling all the police officers to carry a gun, a fake gun on you, carry yeah. a knife with you. So if you yeah. got to blast somebody, just throw that gun on. Them. Yeah. And then the fucked up thing about it, about us being in the northwest suburbs and knowing how you profile as, you know, it's kind of it's kind of stressful driving in the northwest suburbs. If you ain't never lived there, you really don't understand the stress, even if you got a license. You understand what I'm saying? You could just, you, it's a stress just going to the gas station yeah. in a motherfucking town drive. like Elgin in the northwest suburb. I got high blood pressure probably fucking with these police out here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is the only place I ain't ever been. You can't drive for shit. You can't drive! <laughs> It's a lot of shit too. Okay, okay, baby, daddy, daddy. They're, they, they are racist. I give them that. Yeah. But he just can't. Tell him to get out of our show. This live. You got one of the motherfucking ones. But yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a crazy one now. I see you, you just stepped up your software, huh? Well, I mean, I just, I just learned a little bit, you know. I just learned oh, okay. bit just, just trying to shit. And I'm still learning today on the joint, you know? So I just I just learned a little bit, you know? That's about all. And I'm still, still, still uh, confused, but we at least getting it done. Like, I'm oh, still oh, wondering wow. how, how this live broadcasting going. Like, I looked on the on my YouTube and I see it's kind of going, but I put it on the event. So I think it go afterwards. But I don't know, but I see it's recording. I see it on YouTube, it's recording. It. Yeah, it is recording, it'll come up right away. Yeah. But, man, but man, make sure y'all tag me in anything that go on in Chicago, my life in the shop, everybody on your channel. Yes, um, <laughs> um, and, and we can collab on the weekends, man. I'm always- Hey, did you, um, did, you got to do the follow up on that story because the police chief was outside of the uh, Elgin police station telling motherfuckers, if you have a knife, we will shoot your ass. Right. Yeah, I got you that. See that one? I got that. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I did Real disrespect. Real disrespect. Real disrespectful. Now, why would his officers put themselves in harm's way by jumping in her car? She ain't get out that car. They blasted her while she's still sitting in there. They jumped in her car, then said, I'm in harm's way. I got to kill you. Bro, do you got do you got to happen to have the uh the video for that? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting it now, bro. I'm getting it now. Yeah, cause I I still haven't uh even seen that drawing. Man. Bro, I was just wondering how the car get on fire. Exactly, how the how the tires get flat. Everybody wondering that. And for one, why did you have to jump inside her car? And 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 blast her. Why don't you just wait outside like you'll do any other time? And they say she was four or nine, wore a hundred pounds. I'm not soaking wet, yeah, a hundred pounds. Because I'm not doing the facts. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. All right, so I'm gonna bring y'all that. Let me bring y'all. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? I'm not gonna be able to bring it. I ain't downloaded. I ain't got it downloaded, but this is this is the audio for it though. Coming at me with the knife. I'm not wrestling with you. I'm not talking about this case at all because I am not doing the facts in this case. But I will tell you the idea that some people have that I will never be able to change in your mind. It sounds like, or at least some of you, that if you come at me with a knife, 
that I need to somehow wrestle you, wrestle it away from you, or I need to let you stab me in the chest because I wear a bulletproof vest. That's not how the real world, real world works. You come in a police right officer with a knife, probably get you shot. Yeah, you hear that prick? Yeah. <laughs> now he is. You jump inside this lady car, trying to say. Hold up! You jump inside this lady car, trying to say. You had to jump in a car. You could have waited outside. I just watched standoffs for three, four days, two, uh, two, three days standoffs, trying to preserve life. And if she <laughs> stepped out of the car, they could have easily sent the uh, canine unit at her. But instead, they try to jump in a car and blast her four, five times. Not even once, not even twice, not even three times. Four times they blasted this lady. And then the motherfucker who was supposed to have been the shooter, he was a part of the SWAT team. Right. So you should have been at least, he should have been used to talking down a motherfucker or uh, uh, trying to get you out the car. Or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why they made up an excuse, said, oh, we had to jump in there. Let's 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 get in here. and up. Because the car caught on fire, right? Yeah, so yeah. Get in there to save her from the burning car. And shot you. Right. <laughs> that's how they do us. That's, how, that's exactly how they do us. Bro, if you pick up that one that was in Rockford, that the one in Rockford even stranger than that because the brother and the police end up dead on a, on a dark street. And it's still an open investigation right now. I might have to look that up. I got to look Maybe that up. Maybe somebody else in the car <laughs> who get ran away. Well, I think a lot of these stories, I know I can't explain it, but I think a lot of this shit be fake. Straight up. I'm starting to think a lot of this shit be fake, and they just trying to, they waiting on us. Say, damn, how many of you motherfuckers we got to knock down until y'all motherfuckers get angry? I think they be trying to do that shit to uh, cite a riot. I really think in Rockford, they was really trying to cite a riot. They just motherfuckers didn't stand up, because if it ain't a kid, they motherfucker look like it, it, the story go away by next week. Yeah, in that order. That's exactly what happened. I, I, got, I got a thought, though. This is what I was asked when I hear that, when I keep hearing about um, people talking about they trying to start a race war or, or you know, don't listen, don't fall for it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, they trying to get everybody to uh, go against each other and shit, you know? And I, I be wondering with people like there's been a lot of people that's that's that, that hate your ass, okay? You know they hate you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you see it in they. I'm talking about black, white. I'm not discriminating. I ain't, I ain't see a lot of black people hate you just cause your style or your your whole drawing. I, I mean, look, just, look. So when look, I look. so when I hear let me let me finish. So when I hear people talking about this war that comes like what the fuck? I mean. You, life does ain't finna just be all peaches and cream and shit. That ain't even how they got this motherfucker. <laughs> Straight up, the motherfucker, when people so comfortable, they ain't get it comfortably. You know what I'm saying? So if that shit ever touched down at the crib, it is what it is to me. You know? Shit. I don't understand why people like, oh, you shouldn't fall. You know, I feel like sometimes people should stand up. If, if, if the police keep doing shit, yeah, motherfucker, when y'all gonna stop? Be like, no, nah, motherfucker. Y'all ain't finna keep uh, treat my sister, my my mama, my grandma like that, okay? Yeah. You just ain't finna keep doing it. So like when people like, oh, what the fuck? What? Okay. Shit don't. Be, that why G. We we don't even say shit. We, <laughs> you know, <laughs> ain't no point because it don't even fit the criteria. You know what I'm saying? So keep do talking. y'all think a lot of these stories be made up? No, no, they ain't made up, man. They out there killing us like, like for real, bro. They ain't playing. Shit. Somebody they, was- they doing they 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 doing between motherfucking uh five and seven hundred a year. Easy. Yeah. And they talking about the motherfucking gangs was fucking shit up. No, they wasn't. Not yeah, like well, that. Not not made up like like it, it's a fake killing, but it just be a motherfucking hit that night. Cause I remember riding in the motherfucking northwest suburbs, right? And the motherfucker police pulled us over. And the motherfucker had a bag of coke on me and tried to put it in the car. Damn. And end up and end up beat and end up uh beating me up that night. It was Hope Men State. Police, right? Mo, you remember that shit, right? Mm-hmm. 
You remember that shit, uh, Crazy Mo? No, I, I remember that. I wasn't with y'all, though. Yeah, I know. But um, them police was waiting right there on the side of a, a road waiting to do somebody in that night. You know what I'm saying? And we just happened to be the people that riding up that road past. I ain't saying the stories be phony like it's a phony gun or nothing. It just be like, man, fuck it. Every motherfucker. I think every department got to do a killer. Put it like that. <laughs> Especially after one of them get killed. They was just tripping. Somebody was just saying it's going to be a police involved shooting soon because one of them had got killed. Something like that. A police officer got killed not too long ago. Oh, they get revenge. Yeah, that one dude that killed um, a cop downtown. And yeah. Crime Chaser was just saying it's going to be a police involved shooting very soon. They want their revenge. So, no. Um, two weeks later, it's a police involved shooting that killed somebody. Oh, they're going to get revenge. Yeah. Please believe it. They're going to get their revenge. And that's yeah, what that's we think. But yeah, story. I'm gonna stick on that story from L to keep keeping my eyes on that man. It's crazy. I mean, but what's the solutions? What are we gonna do about it? To get yeah. Okay. That's yeah. what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I I just don't be understanding for you know. And then what the fuck it um, and King them hit a lot rough. So to me, I, I, I think they rough. did. <laughs> to me, <laughs> shit. You know, I feel like this lightweight. What well, fuck we talking about? Shit. Okay. I, <laughs> hey, bro. They, I was, getting, they they was getting hosed. Yeah. <laughs> they wasn't getting it in all their food and water and shit. These motherfuckers shit. coming from all sides. What you say, crazy mo? They was getting it. They was getting it. <laughs> they got. They was getting it. What you talking about, mo? They was getting it. It wasn't no motherfucking 10-year-old kids that looked at eight. My mama eight. terrified of white people right now today behind that shit. <laughs> <laughs> See, she's still terrified, huh? Still yeah. Terrified. <laughs> Straight what, up. Be? Hey, Mo, I bullshit you now. Mo, if the police came and knocked on the door and told her to open this door right now and come outside, she going to do it. <laughs> yeah, buddy, you you have to make it back. <laughs> But scatter them peoples. Tell you. And I know many mamas that scatter them people. Police say come out, they gonna come out. Oh man. <laughs> Police kicking your ass. They're gonna be like, they're gonna be standing back. Talk about stop. <laughs> <laughs> Might tell you to stop, but <laughs> oh, just like just like the one sister that came out and knocked the shit out of her motherfucking teenager because he was lying on the police. Hell yeah, okay? You know, they gonna knock the shit out you for fuck with them, okay? Cause they scared. Yeah, <laughs> niggas is curved out. Curved, okay? <laughs> Rooter tooter, okay? Hey, curved. look. <laughs> police, hey, po hey, police get my little brother in front of the house. My little brother on the ground. And the police on top of him. Now, my little brother don't weigh nothing about 90 some pounds. Police on is fully on top of him, telling him to stop resisting. You can't even see my little brother up under the motherfucker. <laughs> but he telling him to stop resisting. And he over there trying to choke on my little brother. And my mother talking about some, just stop resisting. Nah, nah, motherfucker, you better get your hands from around his neck. Talking about he resisting. You, you outweigh him about two, about 110 pounds. What town was that in? Plainfield. It was Joey at police, though. That's how they do. They ain't nothing new. Yeah. That, that, it was Joliet police. And see, and with the village mayor, what we need to do is get involved in the community and make sure that the the departments, if it's if, if you got a community that's ninety nine percent black, and why is the police department ninety five percent white? That don't make no sense. So make sure somebody yeah. get fucked up. Because 85% of the motherfuckers is race. Yeah. And so why are they policing our communities? Mm -hmm. That's the problem. They can't relate to I it. I prefer to talk to a Mexican who better speak no English. <laughs> Jew, come here. Jew, come here. 
<laughs> yes, officer. <laughs> I saw you walking down the street. Yeah, I was walking down the street. <laughs> I was going down the street to go get me a juice. A use? <laughs> yes, officer, a use. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, but we got a lot of issues in our community, man. So I'm going to be talking about a lot of issues, what the solutions are. Because every time you watch a documentary or anything that go on, we're talking about the problem. Oh. You need to get to the solution. You gave up looking for it? Make it because I'm telling you, Trump about to change everything. Yeah, you're going to give us Trump back to the fool out here. Yeah, yeah my, my, my thought with that, brother, you know what I'm saying? I was, telling, I was just telling the brother. Uh, our challenge, our challenge, like we were just talking about the Willie Lynch letter, right? Hey, wait, what year was that wrote? P, what year was the Willie Lynch wrote? We looked up 17, 17, something. Okay, I challenge another nigga, okay, to make a better letter than a letter that was wrote back in 1712, okay. That if that ladder still kicking your nigga ass today, okay, our nigga ass today, it should be enough, enough uh, uh, creative black folks. You ain't even got goddamn be a talent. Yeah, but it's a lot of, it's a lot of co controversy on that ladder being wrote in seventeen twelve too, because it didn't appear until like nineteen seventy two. So you know what I'm saying? A motherfuckers, they not saying that. It's no proof that it was wrote in seventeen twelve, but. You know all that trickery shit. It could have been wrote in motherfucking sixteen oh one. It could have been wrote in nineteen seventy two. And that motherfucker too. just saying that he put out the letter and woo <laughs> and this type of shit like that. Oh. You know what I'm saying? But the so brother, my, hold on. So my so my other thought, my other thought was, it, do you think it's cool? Like if we ever had to get on the ground and and start crowd control and start to get some type of order amongst our people and we're not looking to the police, is it safe to say that we could go you, to you, you can't uh, do that. You can't do that anymore. They 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 stopped that against this shit. That's why they came up with the Ford cards, because the Black Panthers was doing that. Police can't come over here and police our community. We police in our own shit. And we uh, and motherfuckers up and guns on the police. That's why they made that came up with that whole Ford card shit. You yeah, you been in jail, you can't get no Ford card. Right, right. Yeah. So that <laughs> hey, you talking about yeah, you gonna go ahead and police your own community. Shit. Only way you could do that is your very own little small community because after a while, they're going to be trying to say you out there on some vigilanteism and lock your ass up. Yeah. Like they did the um, brothers in um, Philly. Yeah, move. Move. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But let me tell you, that's what I was saying. They got a lot of places, and I was just telling the brother, that it's, it's like rural areas. You know what I'm saying? And see, if you come and try to bring them type of thoughts to a nigga, okay, and be like, hey, nigga, we finna go over here and start building shit, put shit together. We got this motherfucking land right here because they got a lot of royal little places. Ain't even no civilization really there. Ain't no stoplights, no electric ring, nothing, okay? And you say, nigga, we, you know, putting this thought together over here. Like I told bro, you know what them niggas gonna say to you? Oh, okay, nigga. All right. All right, and then they gonna wait till the niggas wait. Wait till you put it all together. Wait till you get it all together. Then talk about we, us. <laughs> right, right. Oh, you know, and you gotta say that's why I say when you look at the white race, the white race can say we Italians, we Irish, we um um you know British, and all this other shit. We feel like we all together, and we we know that from every sector of leader that that's not the truth. That's not the truth. That's not the truth, man, because, you know, it just ain't going to work trying to make everybody conform to trying to be, you know, on some sovereign shit. And what I mean sovereign for real, I mean shit, motherfucker, we, you know, doing the do. We ain't talking the shit, you know, and, and trying to, you know, freelance paperwork and all that other goofy ass shit, you know, <laughs> motherfuckers holding it down to the end end okay ain't no ain't no such thing as going to jail you know motherfucker rather die like how the indians did <laughs> they go to motherfucking jail okay ain't no good jail ain't no such thing okay 
It's all jail you got. Motherfucker murk me, okay? Fuck that shit. I ain't no jail. I ain't, motherfucker ain't doing uh, two days. <laughs> Fuck, that. <laughs> Fuck that, okay? And once somebody got that shit in their head, we ain't doing two days, we ain't doing nothing, okay? Then that's what it is. And, and, and then everybody can, it's not, this not a nice situation, okay? You think, you think somebody say, all right, I disagree with that. And then it happens. You can, you can end up going to war with the police over a traffic stop. So yeah. some of this is right. You can be dead right. You, you stopped at the stop sign there thing. And you see the police on some bullshit motherfuckers that try to pull you over early, didn't get to catch you because you pulled in the driveway. <laughs> Okay, and motherfucker fighting got your ass. You like, oh, this nigga was a bullshit. I'll stop. And you try to keep going. Do you know if you, even if you right and you keep going and you keep everybody coming at your ass, okay? And they trying to, they'll try to kill you over it if it look like you trying to, okay? But, but when you demonstrate with people that is like that, ain't nobody finna try to talk. Uh, hey, you, you, you know, ain't nobody finna do none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker gonna have to either kill your ass or 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 custody your ass all together. And all of, all together, you doing something. Ain't no just uh, you go right, no, no, no. Ain't, no, ain't no just I'm going to your regular life. So look. when you think about sovereignty, you got to think about it's ain't no ain't none of that shit. When you think about I'm trying to really deal for my people, ain't none of that shit. You understand what I'm saying? You got to be like how them Indians was. That's why it ain't no gap down. You barely see a motherfucking Indian. They they're ready to die, okay? They go to jail. They're ready to die. <laughs> Keep going through this shit. You're not finna kill they motherfucking grandma and cousin and auntie. they ready to die, okay? <laughs> then that shit, okay? You know? So when I be listening to the people, I just, you know, it's just a shine. <laughs> you know, people is current to the tutor, okay? I, I, I keep saying we need our people back out them jails, okay? Because them are not the current, okay, in them jails. They get okay. rich off them jails. <laughs> okay? Them mm -hmm. are not the curves in that, okay? Hey, so do you, so do y'all think letting out leaders of organizations with trains what's going on on the streets nah mm -hmm. nah nah yeah, that's Hell no. I, you know, I said the same thing me and Nino had that discussion the other night that's why I asked you why you was on the nah. one because I told him it's too late if that shit yep. don't work it would have worked in the 70s in the it's 80s too late. That, shit, that shit definitely ain't working nowadays uh-uh, hell no. Yeah, get out of jail, motherfucker, get your ass killed. Mo, I told you I was... Go on, bro. I was in, I, I did them motherfucking little five days in this little county out here. Man, a nigga said he was from motherfucking 53rd in Aberdeen. And that ma, that ma said, man, he said, man, on stone. And I said, get the fuck out of here. Get me. Mm -hmm. Oh, stone. I said, damn. That's how y'all get down, huh? So, yeah, uh, no, nah, they won't. That shit won't work. It's good. Yeah. That shit, you know, you probably yeah. should have tried that. You really probably, you had, you, you could have had, had that 18 years ago. Um, yeah, no, mo. Eight, no, 18 eight, years ago? That was Hell yeah, when I just got out the joint. Mo, that was still 2000. Oh, that was 2000, 18 years ago. Mo, that shit wouldn't work in 2000, mo. No. Yes, it would. Mo, my fuck, get the hell out of here, Mo. Mo, that 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 um that 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 crazy chief crazy shit. That shit was in the nineties. Um, he might have a motherfucker might have been able to just, um survive on a few sets or different neighborhoods, but having a a a a, a citywide change because one motherfucker got out of jail. Hell no. Five motherfuckers out of jail? Then ain't gonna change the structure of Chicago, man. That shit ain't gonna work. Not one bit. Not, not, I'm not talking about back then, Mo. I'm talking about back then. So people were still rotating, Mo. Shit, I was yeah. still going getting up and going nationwide back then, Mo. 
2000. Yeah. My fuck, people were still in tune with people, Mo. They was, it wasn't hard to find find out nothing about nobody back then. They number on the phone call. Somebody you gonna get called back with all the information you need. Yeah, yeah. I just say, uh, uh, Nino said it can work right now. You said no. the two thousands. I give it the motherfucking eighties. Oh the shit, they was 90s. out in the eighties. They was here. They was still here in the nineties. Well, it, it would it probably would have worked five years after they got locked up. Then I'm saying ninety, yeah. no later than ninety five. I don't even think this shit would have worked then. You know, you know, I'm bad to death. We need our people out. I'm not saying I ain't said, I ain't said, I ain't said we don't need them out. Those down now, okay? (laughs) Straight up, immediate change will happen. Immediate, okay? Because them people is not finna hit the ground playing around like these people here. Okay, they're just fucking not. That's why they under the jail. <laughs> they don't never want to see their ass again, okay? It's a reason for that. So we're taking out of Chicago. So you said Okay. If, I if told they, my uncle, I told my uncle that. So you I think, told my uncle that I say nothing like good vacations. It's good. No, it's, no, no, no. No, I'm saying, I'm saying we looking at it in Chicago. So do you look at this? What if they would have let Tuki out of jail? You think that would have changed LA? Of course. Took it with change of shit while he was in jail. He was that powerful. No, oh, okay. Doing shit while he's in jail. That fucking powerful. Oh, they know they killed a, a good soul, you know. You know. I, that's why I just hate that other other like, nations and people. They get to flourish, man. They get to, you know, even when they didn't, they people or somebody felt like they made some type of mistake, they still get a chance to. You know, prosper to do something. You know, I just want to let the small people win. Like, you know, they're like Philly just won. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Philly. I, I, I had y'all back, Philly. Okay. You did. I even told the seeds, you know. I had your back, man. I was riding with you. Bro, you don't get your no football. No, but I was fucking with Philly, goddammit. I was fucking. fucking, I'm always through for the underdog, okay? Shit. Okay? For the Bears, dude. Yeah, you know. I'm I'm talking talking shit with this motherfucker. Huh? I'm talking shit with this Denver hat on. You know, you know I'm shot town crane. You know, I love my bed, you know. Yes, sir. There's no questions about it. I love smoking out of blunts. <laughs> Dad, what uh what my life in the shot go? You out of here? So so Mo, where, where's this shit at on fucking uh YouTube? Uh we uh b- uh buy none outlaws. It's gonna be on both platforms, Bonnie Outlaws and Groundhouse. But this the Groundhouse platform. We just started out, you know, learning it and everything. You know, everybody taking off with their podcast platforms. No, bro, um, who we was just on here, he got this shit established. He's been on Crack. doing that shit for a while. This yeah. shit look real nice and shit. You need to check them out. Yeah, you know, we don't want to tame this shit out. You know, we smoking and cussing and shit. And- <laughs> yeah, I knew he was I knew he was finna jump off this shit. <laughs> hey, so hey, so this folks said fifty third to Aberdeen. Oh God, Hey man, y'all let like, get that Hebrew Israelite on here tonight, man. Y'all they send the link. Oh man, I, I you know you just got to copy it. Like if I got his email, I send it to him. You know, shit, we can get his ass on here. I love to have that shit. So yeah. why you could just um? Oh man, you, I, I, you know you just got to copy it. Like if I got his email, I send it to him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. This, on, this on YouTube. So why you could yeah. just um? This on oh, YouTube, man. man. Yes, uh, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, you ain't tell a motherfucker we was lying. Yeah, man, I said, 
<laughs> We've been live for a minute, Charlie. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. 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 I didn't even set the title or nothing. I, you know, I just jumped on in, you know what I'm saying? Get us some more work in and shit. We catch those topics and shit. It's quiet. Why? <laughs> yeah, what's it? You know, that's our show for the day, you know? <laughs> 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 Shit, y'all want to send any shots out? Uh, uh, no, nah, before we go, try to send bro that link. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we should chop it up, man. We should end this one and do that one, too, you know? Chop this it up, okay? So we got this one, and we that'll be our next one. Well, I want to give a shout-out to my motherfucking self. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know shout out to the peace still, God oh, damn it. Real. Salute, salute Pete, God everybody. damn it. Fuck everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Craze? Look at you. Yes, saw me, love. Who is that? <laughs> that? Crazy, bro. P and Boo. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, hey, don't make me start pulling down. Hey, hey that's 20 plus years, baby. 20 plus years, man. Okay. I've, been trying to I've been trying to send this damn picture. I just don't know what I'm doing. Yes, it did. Yeah. yeah, I definitely need that one. Hey, Craig, you, you got anything base? you want to say before we end this session? Man, keep your hands up and stay away from when them white people have guns. <laughs> Good yes. advice. No Good question. Advice. I'm, I'm sorry. Here. I'm sorry, everything funny to me, people. You know what I'm saying? We laugh at the craziest shit. I gotta you, honestly. Hey, you're right. That was not. That was not funny. That was serious. Hey, I, I, I gotta honestly, man. Yo, man. My, my uh. auntie and everybody they laughing. Man, they laughing at the craziest shit. We used to get whoopers and motherfuckers laugh. How motherfuckers got to whoop? <laughs> 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 hey, man. Hey, Craig, you got anything you want to say before we end this session? Man, just Hey, look, when this, when this a group work, I'm going to go on and get mine first. For they to whack they self out, and then they got exhausted and they super hit you hard and shit. And, and like you said, get that first little whooping. If you holler like you on fire, the more holler you're going to do doing, the less it's going to hurt. I mean, holler. Hey bro, I used to get, I used to get, uh, I used to be laughing with the bros. Used to be get they ass too. Yeah. I used to be bite my lip. <laughs> hey, look, oh, I love to see motherfuckers get beat up, bro. <laughs> That's fucked up, bro. I love to see motherfuckers get beat up. Bro. I heard motherfuckers argue outside. I ran outside. You know what I'm saying? I'm just standing there. It's two motherfuckers argue. They looking at me like, what the fuck is you doing right here? I said, all these bitches and hoes and puss ass bitches. I know somebody finna get spoiled on, bro. The fight ended in an argument. I was mad to the ball. Like, Damn, I ain't getting to see no fight. But we out of here, Joe. That's it. Much love to y'all. Bro, out. What's up?